All right, thank you so much, Daniel. Well, looking ahead, South Carolina is joining forces with over 30 states for the largest free naloxone event. It's called Save a Life Day, and on Thursday, communities across our state will and beyond will give out the opioid overdose reversal drug. This really is a life-saving drug. And joining us this morning to talk more about this, we have Amber Frazier, who's leading the effort for South Carolina through the Courage Center, and then John Brunty, a recovery coach. Good morning, friends. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for having us. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so first things first, let's have a little family chat. Talking about addiction can seem very taboo. There's a lot of stigma attached to it, but the reality is this greatly impacts our community. Many of us know people who struggle with this, and so events like this are so important. So can you talk to us about, let's lift that veil, that stigma when it comes to addiction. I, I would love to lift that veil of the stigma around substance use disorder and and the, how many, you know, it affects so many people, like yeah. you said. And whether or not we know that we know someone, we know someone. Exactly. And the stigma is what prevents people from getting that help. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it way too much. And so when you say lift the veil, I'm like, yes, let's lift that <laughs> veil. And, uh, and there's not only stigma around substance use, uh, disorder, yeah. but even the harm reduction, which is what this event is about. And and I had that stigma. Mm -hmm. I didn't know enough about what, you know, I didn't know what harm reduction meant. Mm -hmm. And I've been in the recovery world for a long time. Yeah. And they would say harm reduction. And I started working at the Courage Center and I met Amber and she's Miss Harm Reduction, by the <laughs> way. And I was like, what is harm reduction? And she started showing me and I'm like, this is, it's amazing stuff that they're doing. And, and so I got real excited about this event when she told me. Absolutely, okay, so what is harm reduction for our friends who may not know? Amber, can you tell us? Sure, so it's a public health social justice uh, movement and people are gonna do what they're gonna do. And we just wanna make sure they're safe and have that opportunity um, to continue their journey, whatever that might look like, you know? Um, so it can be a plethora of things. It can be, you know, advocacy on a policy level or it can be self-advocacy, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, some supplies. There are different programs that cater to specific needs such as um, uh, bloodborne disease prevention um, programs. Um, there are some overdose prevention sites. We don't have those here. However, they're more up, upstate. Mm -hmm. um, there's naloxone, there's testing strips. Um, you know, the drug supply today is really contaminated. So something called xylazine is, is getting into the supply, creating all these like necrotic mm -hmm. wounds. Um, so we, we've started a wound care project. Wow. And taking part in these things creates those relationships with our mm. community members. Then they feel safer to talk with us and then they feel part of, right? Because mm -hmm. this population has been largely um, discarded, mm -hmm. you know, not, not even considered as human beings, right? And so when we treat them like that, they want to treat themselves like that. Yeah. You know? so. so, okay, we have a few seconds left. Talk about Save a Life Day, <laughs> all, all the details surrounding that. Sure. Right, well, it was created by SOAR, West Virginia, a group in, um, at the heart of the opioid crisis. It started out as a two-county event in 2020. Last year it was 15 states. This year it's a little over 30 states, and hopefully next year it'll be 50, all 50. Uh, nationwide and it's amazing what these people have created you get naloxone you get fentanyl testing strips which is so important i think i want all my nieces and nephews to have these fentanyl yeah. testing strips because who knows what you're getting and it takes five to ten minutes y'all are also going to give training on this now where will those sites be at so they'll be in a couple different locations we have some in lexington which will be at uh, the radius church white knoll parking mm -hmm. lot from three to six we have one in Aiken. Um, it'll be from 12 to 4. Mm -hmm. um, can't remember the park's name. One in Orangeburg um, in the Kim, uh, Kimbrell's Furniture, and then one in Richland at the um, Ked Plasma. Awesome. So, Thank you guys so much for coming on to talk about this. This Thank is you. so important. Save a Life Day happening on the 26th. All right, my friends, we're going to put this uh, interview on our website, WLTX.com, so you can have this information for later. And up next, meteorologist Daniel Bonds, a closer look at your weather and traffic. Stay with us.